Hi everyone, it's Siv. Welcome back to my channel, A Crafty Poodle Mom. So I'm here today to share with you a, a Dollar Tree haul. I went to my local Dollar Tree to see what they had for Halloween, Pastelloween, and I'm working on a Pastelloween collab with Scrap Passion 01. So if you haven't checked out all the videos that um, we have in the hop, please be sure to do so. I do have a hidden giveaway in one of my videos. So if you are able to uh, follow all the rules and um, participate in it by leaving comments on each of my videos uh, for all four weeks. So if you follow all the rules, then you could be entered to win a boo uh, box I'm gonna be sending out um, for, for the lucky winner. For the lucky subscribers so um but i went to the dollar tree to look and see what they had um some for decoration uh for my spooky space and some to add into boo basket so this coming sunday i'm going to be showcasing the last of the um, pastelloween collab with scrap passion 01 and so um, that last video, I will be sharing with you uh, different treat bags and, um, and how I decorate my Boo uh, box to send out for um, a crafty friend. So um, first up, I wanted to share with you, they had a couple of these small little bins. It's, uh, this one says, come in for a spell. There was an orange one, a black one, and a green one. I picked the, the purple one. And this is um, a fun little uh, plastic basket to put some, you know, like oranges, cuties to uh, send to neighbors, um, and little treat bags if you have a couple of kids in the household. So I picked that up. I also picked up a boa. It's a 48-inch boa. And um, it's... I, I was thinking of kind of adding some of the trim to it. I'm not sure, but um, I'm, I'm gonna try to see what I can do to decorate this or use this as part of the decoration. Um, I also found these little witch boots. Um, it's adorable. I love it. And uh, they're about the size of my hand. And um, I can just set it up as decor on my desk. Um, so, and, and then add maybe some wands in here um, that I have been creating for Crafty Friends. So I'm definitely uh, um, starting early for Halloween crafting. Um, so this is a little boo sign and there's three in the decor piece. It looks like this one came apart. I can just hot glue this back. And what um, I was planning on doing with this is taking these apart and then just adding them to boo baskets as part of a decorative element. So I picked one up. Um, I always send uh, boo boxes to my nieces and I will uh, show you the two boo boxes that I sent to them um, last year and the year before. And uh, sometimes I include these fun glasses. Um, the I actually found some really fun glasses at Target, so I'm gonna send those to them. But I also picked these two up because they were really super duper cute. It's part of the witch theme that I'm going for this year. Um, and then this, these are little um, uh, cotton candy. Um, I found these near the register. They're lollipop bouquet so I was gonna uh, take out the packaging alter it and and wrap it with cellophane over it and then put a little Halloween tag and that's another idea that you can do just to jazz it up so it's uh you can uh, send it off in the, in the merry way with uh, some cute packaging um, I also found these black roses with some skull 
decorative elements and um, some branches. So um, I think I'll just clip them to alter them, um, to alter something in the craft room that I find. So I, I just picked up uh, three bunches. I found um, these uh, headbands as well. And these are bat headbands and you can easily take these apart. You don't have to send them as headbands or you can to uh, the kiddos um, for a boo basket. But I was thinking of kind of taking them apart and putting them on the boo box just uh, for decoration. It's just a fun way to decorate the box. So I picked up two of those and I am planning on um, showcasing the what I created using my Dollar Tree um, items. So make sure to catch it on uh, the next episode on Sunday. Um, this is a door hanger and I believe they came in orange, green, and this purple. So I picked up the purple one with the bats, too cute. Again, also to alter, um, to add to maybe like a wreath. Um, and, and that's the reason why I picked these up. Sorry about the crunching, crinkling. These are mesh tubes and I picked it up in the lime green, the orange, purple, and the black. I picked up a trick or treat um, wood sign uh, that I can alter. I can just paint it in pink and uh, add little uh, flowers here and there. Maybe I'll glitter it up. So um, uh, this is a, just a fun way, an activity that you can do with your kids as well. I found these little um, books and uh, you can add treats in here. Um, I, I work in a hospital, so um, the coffin idea um, kind of spooks me out. So <laughs> I, I really like these little books as, um, as a decoration. And so I'm not sure if I'm going to use these as decoration or gift them as part of a boo box. So this, the, they come in three different sizes. This is the smallest one that I picked up. And then there was one that's a little bit larger uh, where this was inside. And then there was another one, the largest one, where both of the boxes sat inside. And this is the only one that offered the uh, foiling on the, um, on the literature. So I really like this one, these. So I picked up these three. Kinds. This one says Halloween tricks and treats, um, spells, potions, and creepy concoctions, and casting spells. So I will probably show you how I use these in my boo boxes. Um, I found these glitter crayons, and I'm going to be sending these off to my nieces in their boo, bas their boo box. Um, and then I also found... Um, there are a variety of different uh, ba bags, candy tote bags for trick-or-treaters at the Dollar Tree in the 99 cent store. So this is also another idea just to package up uh, real cute, put a little bow, and or you can personalize it if you want. Um, so this is a really cute one. I'm going with the purple theme. I picked up some candy. These are nerds. You can't go wrong with nerds. And I picked up the wild berry Skittles. This brings me back to high school when I had these now and laters and they have it in different flavors. I'm just salivating thinking about it, the sour. And the Laffy Taffies as well. Um, so, and last but not least, Sour Punch Twists that they had available at the Dollar Tree. I found these um, little LOL uh, sandwich containers. And I will package up some candy and put them in here. And then maybe add a little bow or a little LOL girl on the top. Just so that it makes it really cute for the girls, uh, my nieces. 
I also found these little glitter um, fillers and I saw Wendy Sweet's uh, husband cut up these um, gold and um, little balls uh, to make little handmade flowers. And so I forget her name. Um, she's the one that's kind of started the trend by sharing a tutorial. So uh, I definitely want to try my hand in that. Um, I found this little luggage tag. It's so cute. Um, I have a couple of birthdays coming up and uh, crafty birthdays and I wanted to do a unicorn theme. So I found this and the um, uh, rainbow. And then these are little silicone brush cleaners. They're so cute. And so, um, gonna be doing something with that. I found these, this ribbon, um, the witch's hat, as well as these little, let me see, felt stickers. It looks like there's 15 pieces in the pack. And it has the witch boots. and the witch hats in a variety of different colors, black and purple and orange and one yellow one. So I've been making a lot of Hello Kitty um, embellishments. So I was thinking that I would size my little Hello Kitty faces and add a little witch hat on the top. What do you think? And so send that off at, with Happy Mail, uh, you know, as a, with a sweet treat. So that's what I'm planning on doing with those. And then um, these are um, little party favor shots. And um, I was thinking of adding glitter in it and packaging it up, kind of putting a little, some ribbon on it, packaging it up and send it, uh, sending it. So I had that idea to do with this little shots. Um, I also found this LED projector light. I thought it was cute. It's 99, no, a dollar. So I thought I'd check it out. It has a uh, lighting effects across your ceiling. I'll let you know if it works. Um, I found some inflatable decor um, to add to Happy Mail for birthdays, easy to inflate. Um, and I, and I've used these, uh, for decoration for birthday parties and it's, it's really great because you just use the straw, you blow it up and it's so cute and you can add different layers and, uh, a banner, a cute little banner. I found some puzzles. They stocked up in some puzzles, so I picked up these two for Christmas package, uh, packaging for the girls, the, my nieces, um, Frozen, um, and then I found one in Minnie Mouse, um, and lastly I found these little sticker story adventure kits, and of course when I buy things I have to buy it in two, because I have two nieces, and I don't want them to fight over it, even though they know how to share they have to get one of each <laughs> so auntie knows best right so um these are little cute little scenes and then they put little stickers and be creative with their imaginations and create a little storyline with it this will go in their boo box the this is a disney vampirina um coloring book and activity book so it's so cute so so cute they can color with their glitter colors and then of course i couldn't um couldn't bypass this so these are jumbo activity and coloring books so when auntie visits then we can color together so that is uh those are my fun finds at the dollar tree Ooh. Please uh, stay tuned. Um, I will be posting a video um, on Sunday. Uh, my last video for Pastelloween collab with Scrap Passion 01. I'm super sad because there's not going to be any more um, videos with the collaboration, but I will continue 
my Halloween um, crafting and I will hope to send out a lot of boo boxes to a lot of my crafty friends. I kind of stopped crafting last year and I did a lot of traveling with hubby so I'm super excited to be crafting and I found my mojo again and um, you gotta have to practice um, incorporating some joy in your life because with all the stress around um, you know it's important to find that balance so I hope everyone stays well and healthy and I'll see you next time bye Thank you.